I think what we need to do more importantly is score the first goal. I think um, I don't think we've been beat. Um, certainly not since I've been in charge when we score the first goal. And they they're crucial no matter what level of football you're playing at, whether it's you know conference, whether you're playing in the Champions League. If you get that first goal, uh, it gives you a platform. Um, and I think. Um, you know, if we're lucky enough to get the first goal on Saturday, hopefully it'll be a platform for us to take on for the rest of the game and make sure we win it. And five games coming up in 15 days, it's going to be a real test for your relatively small squad. It is, but I think it's a, a one that we're all looking forward to because there's not a lot of time in between the games, so there's no time whatsoever for players to feel sorry for themselves. You certainly won't see me feeling sorry for myself in any way, shape or form. Um, I said not long ago that you know the, when the games come thick and fast, you have to put them to bed really quickly. It doesn't matter if you lose the game, win the game, draw the game. Uh, you enjoy that moment if you win it for a few hours and then all of a sudden you're looking forward to the next game. Um, and for me, I think that's a good thing at this time of the season, especially for the position we're in. And just a final one from me, you decided to train here at Fratton Park today rather than the training ground in Eastleigh. Mm -hmm. What was the thinking behind that decision? Just to change the scenery. Just doing something a little bit different um, seemed to work today. The lads were, you know, very buoyant and lively. Um, probably a little bit too lively. We had to calm them down a little bit. Um, but no, yeah, it was just literally a change of scene. We're just doing something different, um, taking them away from the the day to day monotonous that can be. Obviously, when you're surrounded by a train round, um, and uh, you know, change of faces. I, I know a lot of them have been down into to see the staff before they've left today and uh, obviously it's give the staff at the, tr at the uh, ground a bit of a lift as well having the players here so um, yeah it's worked out okay You know, if we manage to, get, like you say, get a couple of results over the next couple of games, momentum, you know, you never know where that can take you. Um, it starts to put a little bit of pressure on the teams above us. Um, like I've said, I think you can very get into a habit of losing games just as easy as you can winning games. Um, and when you get that winning feeling and you get that winning feeling back, it's very difficult sometimes to take you off track. And um, if we do manage to get two results in the space of three days, you can imagine if we get to... Coventry and Boyant mood and all of a sudden come back to Fratton with another two home games, anything can happen. Uh, however difficult over the next couple of months or so and, and previous that we will stick together. You know, so if the worst happens, we'll do it sticking together. Uh, if uh, we manage to pull ourselves out of this and produce a small miracle, we'll do it together. Um, and I think that's, like I said, I've said that from day one. If the team that we played against comes off the field... You know, knowing that they've been in a game and it's been a tough fixture, you know, I can't ask any more from them. I can, we can t talk about, you know, people making mistakes, this and what have you. But if they're actually giving me the effort and application of what they have done over previous weeks, then as a manager and as a coach, you can't really ask for more.